Shocking display of liberal intolerance at Hunter College right up here in uh, Manhattan. A professor caught on tape cursing out a group of pro-life students, even physically trashing their display. This is violent. You're triggering my students. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You're, no, you're not. Because you I'm can't sorry. even have a baby. That's so you don't even know what that is. You don't even know what this is. Get this out of here. Bro. This oh, if you think that's bad, this story just got a whole lot Whoa. more seriously oh. crazy. Take a look. Look at this video. Shot by the New York Post with whom we share common ownership. The professor threatening the life of the Post reporter who showed up at her Bronx apartment. Actually, she's wielding that wicked-looking machete, holding it up to the guy's throat. Get the away from my door. Get the away from my door. Let's, let's get out of here. You can't do that. Nuts. The college putting out a statement saying, quote, Hunter College strongly condemns, no kidding, the unacceptable actions of Shalene Rodriguez and has taken immediate action. Rodriguez has been relieved of her duties at Hunter College Effective immediately, will not be returning to teach at the school. We have reached out to the professor and her union, uh, who, who interestingly enough is uh, supporting her. Oh, uh, we have not heard. Uh, we have not heard back. Uh, you know, Jesse, reporters can be annoying, but putting the machete up to the guy's throat is. <laughs> Has that sense. ever happened to you, Geraldo? <laughs> <laughs> this is an attack on the freedom of the press. Remember how many times we heard that? Yep. Do you think the media is going to ever tell this story? This is going to get Waukesha paraded right off the front page. Here's why. You have a black female college professor, first of all, threatening Puerto white Puerto Rican. pro-life students. And then you have her holding a knife to a journalist's throat. <laughs> Everything about this story screams, you know what? And they will now cover this thing up. Like, they've done pretty much every story that makes all of their people look bad. And I just want to know one thing. How did Hunter College actually hire this person? They oh. had no inkling that she was this crazy? You're saying this is the first time this ever came to Hunter College's attention? She's insane. But they knew she was insane. It wasn't until they actually had the video that they couldn't deny the fact that the woman needs to be arrested right. for menacing. That is imminent. That is a, a, a threat, an imminent threat to another human being. She says she wants to chop him up. Her oh. intent <laughs> is clear. Uh, she is violating the First Amendment rights of those students who have those leaves flits on the table. She's also, as far as I'm concerned, she's also creating a, a, a belief on the part of young students, some of them impressionable, that when she says, my students, you're triggering my students. So you've got at least one arrest and a conviction right there. Turn the tape on, tell the jury to go in and deliberate, read them the law, that's the end of it. The second thing is violating the First Amendment rights of the students. And the third is, she is creating this mentality that you're triggering someone if you disagree with what they think. She should never have been. Will she get indicted? Of course not. <laughs> you know what? It's Scott only a Alvin... Class B misdemeanor. Yeah, but so what? It's only a Class she... no, B. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Tell that she... to the reporter. She won't be indicted. <laughs> she won't be indicted because it's a misdemeanor, misdemeanor but she should be charged. Okay? She yeah. should be arrested, charged, prosecuted, convicted. But, you know, Dana, if you look at the video again, it, it's here's the dramatic one with the machete to the neck. Mm -hmm. But then go back to the one, if you can, mm -hmm. uh, where the, she's uh, uh, destroying the display, the pro-life display. That shows the anger that is yeah. brewing there. Yeah. You know, you could tell that this is an, a bomb ready to go off. Mm -hmm. and it, it, she's yeah. got issues. She's <laughs> got issues. I think that it's fair to say that. So we did this story this morning with Kennedy and Kat on America's Newsroom before we knew about the machete, before the machete thing happened. So the story escalated very quickly really? because because what your point is, Geraldo, this is bad enough. These are students who have the permission of the university to have their table, to have their leaflets, to basically peacefully say we are pro-life. And if you would like some more information, would you please take a leaflet? And she is a adult woman who can't just walk by without a comment, not only not a comment, but like, trying to destroy them and that and the young man says, Oh, I'm sorry. Like, no, you don't have to be sorry. You don't. You did the right thing and you were poised and you were gracious and just keep at it. And this is when your integrity gets tested. The kids didn't react, the reporter didn't react. She has now to deal with the consequences of her actions. I, I'm, I'm glad, glad that you she brought that up. Got fired.
She has not been fired. Oh. As far as I as I she read this, Judge, it. listen to this. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the provost has completed an investigation. I think she fired her. And the faculty member has been appropriately disciplined. In addition, the faculty member has been warned that if the behavior reoccurs, that we, oh, that, that was, no, that that was their first thing. That, that was their first thing. That was before the first machete. Yeah. The, the other one was, they, they say she has been relieved. I, I got to find that. Address. Yeah. Oh, here. Here, here it is right here. Yeah. Hunter College strongly condemns the unacceptable actions of Shalene Rodriguez and has taken immediate action. Rodriguez has been relieved of her duties at Hunter College effective immediately and will not be returning right. to teach at the school. Hunter College is part of City University, does at the school, I, you know, I represented uh, uh, teachers mm -hmm. who've been fired and, and with some good results. All right, go to Ken, with some, with some good results. This, she could get hidden in the City University of New York system. Oh, they do that all the time. All the time. So she's not fired. I mean, there are message boards of parents not in New York City public she, schools I, because they take creeps from one school where there have been complaints and, they, and they just move them to another school and they don't tell the parents. They don't even tell the other teachers. They certainly don't tell the students. But yes, City University of New York, that is a giant institution and they'll put her somewhere because her union, what she did was unacceptable when she went up to those students. She tossed the leaflet. She swore at them. She used the F word and she was also very transphobic. She told one yep. of those nice young men that he can't have a baby. Yep. And in this world, he can be a chest feeder. <laughs> and I thought that that's, that was, that's a joke. That was very, very cruel. But yeah, threatening someone with a knife, with a machete up to their neck, that, I, that is indefensible. And yes, that is that's actionable. But Absolutely the, right. The PSC Graduate Center, her labor union, said it stands by Rodriguez, quote, against right-wing anti-abortion wow. backlash. Yeah, so they think if you disagree with someone, that yeah. deserves violence. That, that is absolutely what they think. Yeah. That's what she thinks, that's what the union thinks, and that's why most colleges have gone to hell. I say that as a parent who's sending a child to college in the fall, and we are going to have some conversations about standing up for yourself and your beliefs and compromising those beliefs whenever you want to get an A. And we're seeing right here that... <laughs> Columbia <laughs> University has just hired the machete professor. <laughs> She's going to be Hillary's TA. The, yeah. un the union added that her actions were justified. 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 Let's go out with the machete you know video. What? This is, this is when York... we need someone other than a progressive DA to come in and say, not in my city. Are you going to hold a machete to a reporter? That, that reporter, the New York Post reporter who got chased with the machete, will be on Hannity Tonight at 8 Eastern, nine. definitely nine. do not. Nine. Not, did I say 8? Yep. <laughs> I jumped again. You live in Cleveland. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Cleveland local, is local time. Eastern Coast. time also. Well, there you go. Up, <laughs> <laughs> nine o'clock. County, nine o'clock. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.